on behalf of the Board of Trustees, our faculty, and our staff, I welcome you. And thank you, for, thank you all for joining us as we celebrate Donnelly College's class of 2015. I ask you to please silence your cell phones as we begin the ceremony. Since 1949, Donnelly has continued a proud tradition of providing outstanding higher education opportunities in the heart of Kansas City, Kansas, to outstanding students. Please join me in welcoming our president of Donnelly College, Monsignor Stuart Swetland.
an additional language to their native tongue, taking classes at various levels to strengthen their conversation, reading, and composition <coughs> skills. 16 students have passed the rigorous assessments onto college level courses. Congratulations. <laughs> Within the allied health area, 66 students took courses to prepare for careers as CNAs, pharma uh, pharmacy technicians, medical interpreters, and community health workers. Congratulations. In the area of nursing, we got to celebrate our main ceremony earlier today. We honor 26 students with certificates indicating graduation of the practical nursing coursework, and they enter now into the, that field of nursing. Congratulations. <laughs> Within the associate's degree program, we will award 29 students with their associate of arts, science, or applied science for successfully completion, completion of those programs during the past academic year. Congratulations. <laughs> and finally, we will present bachelor's degrees to eight students who have completed their upper level coursework in organizational leadership. Congratulations. <laughs> I always say that our finals come at an inconvenient time. Our, our fall finals come right before Christmas when we want to do cards and bake cookies and send, send, uh, buy gifts, and decorate the tree. And our spring finals and commencement ceremony happens right at the busiest sports time of the year. <laughs> Baseball is starting, the NBA playoffs, the NHL playoffs are underway, golf is getting to uh, the time when you actually want to pay attention to it. Other things are going on that distract us from our finals. And on top of all that, being someone who studied in Britain, I uh, find the British parliament parliamentary election the biggest sport on television. And that happened this week. <laughs> Kept me up most of the night on Thursday. And it was uh, in that midst, I was trying to find the right slogan or thing to say to this year's graduating class. And I was searching the usual sources you do for commencement addresses when actually those two worlds came together. And basketball provided it for me last night, at the last minute, sort of like uh, cramming all night. Last night, the, uh, I'm not a fan of either teams, but I was watching the game, the Los Angeles Clippers beat the Houston Rockets, and the coach's son, Austin Rivers, and there's a lot of criticism for the coach who picked him up his own son on the team, but he had a phenomenal game, scored 25 points in 22 minutes, played great defense on a uh, Houston Rockets star player, and really made the difference in the game, they would say. And there was a lot of discussion after the game about his relationship with his coach and also his dad. And so he was asked by the reporters, come on, tell us what the relationship is like. And he said this, our relation has always been coach-player. He's hard on me because he wants the best for me. I hope Donnelly College was hard on all of you. Because we want what's best for you. And we want to prepare you to become, as I said earlier in the year, the best versions of yourself. To borrow a line from Matthew Kelly. If we weren't hard on you, let me know and we'll make it harder for the people who will follow you. So we get it right. Well, having said that, when Coach Rivers, the dad, came on the stage, he was asked about his relationship with his son, the player. And they asked him, do you treat your son like a son or like another player? And he said, and I quote, they are all my sons. That's a good coach. And today, all of you become sons and daughters forever of Donnelly College, your alma mater.
shower your blessings on all who have made it possible. Generous and loving families, self-sacrificing teachers, staff, and administration, supportive friends, all who have gone before us to make Donley College what it is. Most of all, we ask your blessing on the graduates. Fill them with the spiritual gifts and wisdom of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the rule of St. Benedict. May they always listen with the ears of their heart. May they run on the way of God's commandments. May they welcome Christ in every guest, especially the poor and vulnerable. May they be patient in suffering, confident that those who share in the sufferings of Christ will also share in his glory. May they seek peace and pursue it. May their lives be characterized by that good zeal which, warmed by love, always seeks the good of the other person. And may they love Christ above all. We ask this through our loving God. Amen. Amen. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce our first student speaker, Liz Medina, who's receiving her associate's degree today. Liz, come on up. Thank you. 
I don't want to leave Donnelly. <laughs> and it will be my second home. Since day one, I felt like I was part of the family. The teachers and faculty truly cared about me and my success. I thank them and everyone who has crossed my path. All of you have helped me lead the way spiritually and academically. Especially you, Mom. I love you, Ted. You are my rock. when 
we look out at all of you here. So you have staff and faculty, and you have many others that care about the future of this college and the great work done by particularly our faculty. It was so nice to hear you recognize a, a faculty member here. Uh, but I get the opportunity to recognize someone actually in our community. Uh, and uh, I, I hope you'll just bear with me a few moments as we introduce this award. So each year at graduation, we present the Delta Award to an individual whose contributions to the community embody the mission, the spirit, and the values of Donnelly College. As many of you know, the Greek letter D, or Delta, is the universal symbol for change. The Delta Award is aptly named to recognize the work of someone who has transformed people, places, and spirits. Further, the Delta Award pays tribute to the college's Catholic faith in the Holy Trinity, recognizing that faith motivates our service to others. Irene Cadillo, this year's honoree, is this year's honoree. Irene received a bachelor's degree from the University of Missouri, Columbia, and a master's degree in public administration from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. After graduating from college, Irene developed children and youth programs for nonprofit organizations such as El Centro and Wyandotte Mental Health Association here in Wyandotte County. As her career path unfolded, um, she also worked with the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department as the first minority health outreach coordinator and as the executive director for Youth Opportunities Unlimited, Catholic Charities of Northeast Kansas, and director of family strengthening and Director of Clinic Operations for Swope Health Services. Do you see the pattern here, ladies and gentlemen, about the kind of work uh, that Irene has committed herself to? It is incredibly impressive. Her career is focused on holistic support and care for underrepresented populations. Just to cap off things, Irene is now the Chief Executive Officer of El Centro Inc., an agency much like Donnelly College that seeks to serve the people of Wyandotte County and like Donnelly got its start through the support of the Archdiocese of Kansas City and Kansas. Irene's service to the community goes far beyond her career to include involvement with numerous community boards throughout the metropolitan area, including the University of St. Mary's Board of Trustees, the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library Foundation, and Community Housing of Wyandotte County. She's also a lector for Christ the King Parish where she and her family attend. At this time, I'd like to present the Delta Award to Irene Caldillo. Irene. with faith. So you see, success to my parents 
was not about money or material things. It was the service that you give to others. I stand before you proud, but also proud of you, proud graduates. Because when I think about what Donnelly College has given to you, what I hope that you have gotten is what I've acquired throughout my years, not just within my family, but throughout this community, and the knowledge and expertise that everyone has given you. But what I've also believed, and what I know as the foundation of my Catholic faith, is that all we really do have is to give. So value your time, talents, and your treasures, and build your passion by utilizing each of these within your family, within your homes, and within your community. What a great place this would be, right? So throughout my personal and professional experience, I've utilized my knowledge to not only stand as an advocate on issues, um, some of them very contentious, like immigration, but I give personally to institutions of health, as well as education, my, my time, talents, and treasure, because they address the needs of those of our most vulnerable populations and communities that live right here with us. So all I do is not about, or what I do is not about to win awards, to claim fame or fortune especially not portion of the nonprofit community. But, but I will say, it's to share those stories. It's to share uh, those stories of people that cannot. And it's to create voices and leaders who will walk right beside me and further a cause and really create a vehicle to achieve more than I can do alone. Because guess what? The things that I do, I don't do them alone, and I can't do them alone. So I want you to think about your time here and what you accomplished. And I want everybody to think about the values that guide you. How, do you. how are you going to utilize these values to create a pathway of change? And then I ask you to think about who you're going to bring with you. So I congratulate all of the graduates. I can't thank you enough for this award. And again, I'm humbled by it, but it takes so many people that have helped me along the way and have given me these opportunities. Um, and I thank Donnelly College again for this prestigious honor. Thank you.
faculty and staff of Donnelly College, to this beautiful bouquet of family and friends and dignitaries who share the platform with us today. Today we have gathered to celebrate the accomplishments of God's creation. These wonderful people who have studied. <coughs> I'm sure some of them were like me. They did some cramping, <laughs> labored, gave God their best, and now God has allowed their dreams to come true. Today is a good day. Why? Because we gather to celebrate those who have walked by faith and not by sight. Psalm 118.24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. We come to rejoice and to be glad in it. To all the graduates and families, I want you to know this is your day. This is one of the best days of your life. You will leave the cocoon of the classroom and enter a world that's filled with challenges and dilemmas. However, due to your hard work and your commitment to complete this journey, you now will be able to live stable in an unstable world. You can now live a Bible-centered life in almost a pagan-driven society. I stand today as an alumni of Donnelly College. I want you to know that I say it loud and I say it proud. Yes, there's a Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Yes, there's a Johnson County Community College. But this world must also know there's a Donnelly College. It's places like Donnelly that values diversity. It's a place like Donnelly that leaves the light on for those who are traveling in darkness. It's places like Donnelly College that have sisters and brothers who do not judge you by the color of your skin, but by the conscience of your character. It's places like Donnelly that we can look back Say it loud and say it proud. There is a Donnelly College that's alive and well in Wyandotte County, Kansas City. There's <laughs> places like Donnelly College that some of us can look back on and say, hey, as you push that elevator and go to the third floor, there's a good chance that you might be sitting in the classroom that you were born in. <laughs> July the 15th, 1972, I came in this world on the third floor of Donnelly College, which was Providence Hospital. Somebody know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I gave, it gave me life then. But I must tell you, in 2000, it gave me life again. See, I'm what many would call, excuse my expression, a bastard child. One that had never met his father. I was raised by a single mother. A grandmother whose hand held me, but it couldn't hold me as tight as she wanted to because she had diabetes. And her body was beginning to fail. I came to a place like Donnelly College and showed me love, gave me life again. I wasn't fortunate to go to some of the colleges and schools that some of my classmates went to, but I'm proud. I said I'm proud to say that I am a Donnelly College graduate. at Bishop Ward High School, I graduated from Donnelly College, I have yet
yet to learn how I'm still a Protestant. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but Donnelly gave me strength. Donnelly gave me courage. And I know my time is limited. But Donnelly gave me some courage to go into this world and fight. Go into this world and love and give and give. Donnelly taught me that it's not about me, but it's about helping others. There was a young man in 1 Samuel chapter 17 by the name of David. David had a challenge in that passage of scripture because there was a giant named Goliath. And David took the charge to fight this giant Goliath. When others were afraid to fight this giant Goliath, Others said, he's too big to hit. But David said, he's too big to miss. <laughs> David stood before Goliath and said to Goliath, you come to me with spears and a sword, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. David took those few stones that he had, slung them, hit that giant in the middle of his forehead, if you will, and that giant Goliath fell to the ground. But you know, that wasn't enough. I, giant, uh, David said, I gotta make sure he's gone forever. I, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta get rid of this, this giant. And David went up to him and took his own the own sword of Goliath and cut his head off. <laughs> Goliath was no more. Today, Donnelly graduates, I want you to know, in 2015, we got some giants that's still in our lane. We got some giants in our land who destroyed our families, our schools, our churches, and the fabric of our country. Giants call racism. Giants call sexism. Giants call ageism. Giants call classism, just to name a few. But as my time is limited today, I want to tell every graduate of this 2015 graduating class of Donnelly College, these giants need to fall. Not only do these giants need to fall, but these giants must be destroyed. These giants must never be given an opportunity to rise again in the community that you and I live in. I know that you're going to face your challenges, and I'm here to tell you, it's not always easy. If it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. I pastor a church in the inner city, and my heart continues to bleed for families that I have to embrace because we have to bury little children because of drive-by shootings. Gunshots and senseless crimes are still taking place in our world. But I want to challenge you, 2015 graduating class of Donnelly College, give someone the show. Open your arms and embrace everyone. Because one day, if we continue to live in this broken world in which we live, that someone might be in your family. It may be your brother. It may be your father. But with the help of people like you and me, who refuse to hate, who accept people for who they are, where they are, and where they come from, we can help embrace those who are facing the giants of their life. The absence of a father or a mother. Drug addicted, 
siblings or even your own demons that you are fighting. Today leave this place knowing that every giant in your life can be defeated. When you face your giant, when you face the giants in the workforce, sometime even in the church, look at your giants and say, hey, others say you were too big to hit. But I say you're too big to miss. God will give you the victory. God will sustain you. And as I close, I want to tell you, serving the Lord is the best thing you can ever do. I know I've got a few church people here. I mean, hey, we've come this far by faith. It's a faith walk. Amen, somebody? Yeah. And I'm not trying to turn this into a church setting, but, but it's a faith walk. Every day is a faith walk. I remember when I was at Donnelly, I prayed before every test of Sister Grace. Amen. I, Sister Kathleen Logic test, I had to pray. Amen, somebody? It is a faith walk. We walk by faith and not by sight. And let me tell you something. It's not the ladder that you're climbing. It's the wall that your ladder is leaning on. Faith in God is a wonderful thing. Because our God specializes. And I'm trying not to preach. But our God specializes <laughs> in turning setbacks into comebacks. Our God specializes in giving the underdog the victory. Our God specializes in, in, in teaching us, amen, not to wait for the storm to pass, but learning how to dance in the rain. Our God specializes in taking reaching, I wish I had a witness there, and throwaways, amen, and turning them in to doctors and nurses and, and school teachers and principals. And, come on, help me somebody. We walk by faith and not by sight. And I close. If you fight the good fight, you'll be able to end your life with the words of Paul when he said, I fought a good fight. I feel like preaching. I count the faith. I finish my course. God bless you.
following candidates have completed the requirements for their practical nursing program as prescribed by our faculty and present these candidates for graduation. Now, by virtue of the authority vested with the Board of Trustees of Donnelly College by the State of Kansas, I confer upon you the Practical Nursing Certificate for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto, and I offer my sincere congratulations. Shantae Ford. Yay! Rochelle Harvey Acker. Leandra K. Hill. Jean Johnson.
Sulemet Iret Amparan. Now, by virtue of the authority vested with the Board of Trustees of Donnelly College by the State of Kansas, I confer upon you the Associates in Arts degree from which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Sulema Ibel Amparan. Brenda Bernice Carrete Arianas. <laughs> Rosalina Michelle Avila. <laughs> Jamal Clayton. Veronica Duarte. Yeah. Jesus Fernandez. Miriam yeah. Haro. Kim Canal. <laughs> Fabian Patino Zapata. <laughs> Tamia Rose McNeary. Brianna Ogletree. <laughs> King Peterson. <laughs> Kaya Paul. Gali Rojas. Ding <laughs> So.
Ambrosia Gerber. Liz Jennifer Medina. Alicia Rodriguez Montañez. Victor Moro. Special men. 
men and women who proudly wore the badge of Donnelly College alumni. The most reverend Joseph Nauman, Archbishop of the Archdiocese in Kansas City, Kansas, will offer a benediction. Please stand. Wow, what a what an inspirational event, and I just want to, we had a great lineup today, Irene, thank you for accepting the award, and what a heroine she is in our community, and uh, Reverend Lamb, we can take care of this about you becoming Catholic now, <laughs> we're so proud to have a graduate of Donnelly like you giving back to the community, so thanks so much, and I'm going to come by for some preaching lessons one of these days. You know, uh, before we say the blessing, um, Donnelly College is, I describe it in my column that I write in our per paper as a jewel of the Archdiocese. It's something that we treasure very much. Uh, St. John Paul II, late Pope John Paul II wrote a document on Catholic colleges and universities. It was entitled Ex Corde Ecclesiae, which means from the heart of the church. And our colleges really are that. They've grown up because we believe that faith and reason lead to the same destiny, truth. And the ultimate truth is God. So we, we congratulate you. We're proud of you, Donnelly graduates. We look forward to seeing the giants you're going to slay and uh, all that you're going to accomplish. I want to uh, thank... Monsignor Swetland, uh, he's not completed a year of his presidency yet. We're very grateful to him for his leadership. Uh, I live with uh, Monsignor, so he bleeds Donnelly College. We hear about it every day. And uh, it's, it's, he's a great leader, we're very blessed. And my gratitude to our faculty, again, it was beautiful to hear those students speakers today, Liz and Nathan, thank you so much, but to hear the difference that you've made in these young people's lives, so thank you for that. So let us pray. We give thanks for Bishop George Donnelly and Benedictine Sisters of Mount St. Scholastica for having the vision and the courage almost 66 years ago to found Donnelly College. We're grateful for the benefactors, board members, presidents, professors, and most of all, the past graduates who built the proud Donnelly tradition. We thank you, Lord, for Monsignor Swetland for the many ways in less than a full year he has labored to strengthen this college in order to continue the Donnelly tradition, offering an excellent entrance into higher education for its students. We thank you for the faculty, the staff that do so much more than just help students earn a degree, but through their own example, create a thirst in their students for excellence in the pursuit of truth in order to be of service to their families and community. Most of all, we give thanks for this year's graduates, for the inspiration that they provide to us by their dedication and hard work. Lord, we ask your blessing upon all their future endeavors. May they be successful and fruitful, a credit to the Donnelly tradition of which they today become a part, and always giving glory to you, their creator, and the source of all their talents and gifts. We ask your blessing upon their families who have supported them, encouraged them, and assisted them in the pursuit of their dreams. And finally, we ask you, Lord, to continue to bless Donnelly College so that it can continue to be a beacon of hope and opportunity for the people of the Kansas City metro area. Help us always to be true to our mission of recognizing faith and reason as partners in the pursuit of truth, of the noble, and of the beautiful. May your blessing come upon all assembled here. We ask you to bless them, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
platform guests, then faculty and staff, and board members, and then graduates recess. Thank you.